The two different classes that we chose to differentiate and compare is chondrichthys and sarcoopterygii. In class chondrichthys, their outer body structure is composed of tooth-like scales and their inside structure or skeleton is made up of cartilage, as opposed to sarcoopterygii, who have cosmoid scales but have a bony skeleton. For breathing, chondrichthys have exposed gills that have no covering or operculum. Meanwhile, in the other hand, sarcoopterygii have an external flap of skin that covers their text gills, which is the operculum. When digesting substances, chondrichthys have a smaller size of intestine. On the other hand, Sarcoopterygii have bigger intestines that serve as more useful in terms of digesting different substances. In reproduction, chondrichthys have internal fertilization in which the females reproduce their offspring inside of them and then they lay their fertilized eggs. <coughs> Unlike Sarcoopterygii, where they have external fertilization in which the female lays all eggs, the males release their sperm. They both are outside in the environment. Although they may contain these differences, they have quite a few similarities. To start off, they are ectothermic, meaning that they rely on their environment for body temperature. Their two-chambered heart is also a common characteristic. Both classes have fins that also serve useful to propel move around in their surroundings. That type of the surroundings they currently live in is in a saltwater environment. Last but not least, since both classes derive from island core data, they have a backbone nerve cord that contributes to the brain or spinal cord development. All in all, both classes are unique and have may have different characteristics. Overall, they could be quite alike.